Yo, this is Age of Boredom, and welcome to my Super One More Jump review. So, let's start with the gameplay. So, the game boasts a one button control scheme. Hit any button to start moving, and then any button to jump. The aim of each level is to reach the goal, picking up as many as the three collectibles as you can along the way. The collectibles are not really needed, but if you kind of want to like perfect the level or use them as a kind of like an in-game currency to unlock new things later, then, you know, it's kind of good if you pick them up along the way. Sounds simple though, right? So that's where you're wrong, because once you get past the first section, they really turn the thumb screws on you, testing your concentration, reflexes, and pretty much your sanity. So in total, there's over 140 levels of the game that will keep you challenged for quite a while. And then on top of that, there's endless mode to boot. If you have really sadistic friends, then there's also a two to kind of four player multiplayer, which is exclusive to the Switch. So that's pretty cool. Done all that, well then you can replay all the levels in mirror, night mode, and a, like a spinning screen mode, which made me feel quite sick after a while of playing on some of the tougher levels. Well, the graphics are pretty simple pixel art, but what makes them really cool is that you can pick a different theme or skin. As you collect more collectibles, you can use that as in-game currency to kind of unlock new avatars. There's 10 level skins in total to choose from, and then each one has its own set of avatars, so there's plenty to choose from, so you'll definitely find one you like. My personal favourite is the orange and silver platforms. I'm not going to try and say their Twitter handle, so I'm just going to flash it on screen right now. That's it. <laughs> the contrast is awesome, so it looks perfect, and uh, it just goes so well with the simple gameplay, if you ask me. The sound is like the gameplay. It's kind of really minimal, but highly polished. And it does exactly what you want. Like all the sound effects kind of give you the right, the right feeling. Like the jumping sounds good. When you collect things, it gives you like a really good positive kind of feeling. When you die, it's not too annoying because you're gonna die a lot in this game. Juxtaposing nicely with the devilish gameplay, I'm not sure if it was a developer's intent that you would play for a lot longer sessions, but after a while I did notice it start to repeat a little bit. I'd love if they updated a few more tunes, maybe just so if you are playing it for like an extended period of time, it doesn't kind of grate. But for, you know, 10 to 15 minute gameplay sessions, you're not going to notice it really and it's, it's perfect. Overall, platform is not usually my wheelhouse, but I've had a lot of fun with Super One More Jump. I think that it's so simplistic on the surface and that you can see what you need to do after a few attempts that you just have to give it one more go or in this case one more jump it's going to be one of those games where you try and have a quick session on the bus or train and then one or two things happen you miss your stop because you're having just one more go or you kind of end up screaming yelling standing up on the bus and then throwing your switch down the aisle which i wouldn't recommend but you know if the rage takes you the rage takes you but with all that aside, the minimal charm of the game has really won me over. If you're looking for a new platforming challenge, then $7 or £4.99 is definitely worth the price. And if you're a fan of platformers, then definitely this is worth your time and your money. So give it a go. If you enjoyed this video, then please like. If you want to see more kind of content like this, then please leave a comment below and let me know. Also, if you're planning on buying the game or if you have bought the game, and you want to let me know what you think then please just add a comment below and uh, throw a little subscription on the channel if uh, you like what you see and you want to see more content like this okay thanks very much and i'll see you next time